Hello, my name is Jake Kurth. Today we're putting together a quick video tutorial on how to find your diopter numbers on your Discovery Series microscopes. First thing I'm going to want to do when I sit down at the microscope is make sure my eyepieces are totally wrong. The way I personally prefer to do this is to take the eyepiece and adjust it so it's all the way out. If you prefer yourself, you can adjust it so it's all the way in, but for my preferences I like to start with it all the way out. I'm going to do it for my right eye as well as my left eye. The next thing I'm going to do is zoom in all the way on a flat specimen, such as a business card, and bring the image into focus. But to do that, I'm first going to need to take off my glasses. Now that I'm zoomed in all the way, I'll bring the image into focus. And now I'm going to zoom back out. Next, one eye at a time, I'm going to bring the image into focus at the eyepiece. You can do this either by covering one eye, or if you have to, you can close the opposite eye. The idea is to move quickly and confidently and stop just when the image gets in focus. The next thing I'm going to do is test it by zooming in and zooming out and seeing if the image remains in focus as I'd like. As you do this test, you'll start to see that your diopter numbers will move around, but generally they're going to be around a very specific number. In this case, if I look at my eyepiece and I count over from the right, which is the negative direction, my right eyepiece is a negative one, two, maybe two and a half. And my left eyepiece is a negative one, maybe negative one and a half. The idea here is now whenever I sit down at the microscope, I can dial in my diopter numbers. And when I focus at high power and go to low power, the image will remain in focus, as will my dividing line, as well as my camera. Hopefully this helps find your diopter numbers. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. I'm Jake Kurth with Leeds.